Sometimes when being a collector, things get a little out of hand. And sometimes you go a little too far with the collection. But this time, I haven't went far enough. But I did get Kupos, get Ichigo, which completes the collection. Hello all, my name is Daniel and welcome to Twisted Geek. And yes, my obsession with Q poskets is grown. This is now in double figures. Ichigo makes it 10. And yes, I say I've got the complete collection. From what I'm aware, there is three in total. There's Ichigo. There's Toshiro. You might see him up there. And volume two, Ichigo in his Bankai form. With these, there is a two per set, essentially. And I always go for the A versions. A versions normally have the full color versions of the character. If you look at the side here, B versions are normally exactly the same character, but in like a sepia tone or sometimes like a slightly different color way. Me personally, I prefer getting the A's and actually getting the standard normal look of the character. So yes, you could say there's another version of Toshiro, there's another version of Ichigo with a different color, but it's the same figure, just a different color. So for me, that is me completing the set. I'm not going to go out and spend more money just for a slight color change. Unless I'm mistaken, have I missed some characters? Have I not seen certain characters from Bleach? Let me know down in the comments below. Taking a quick look at the box, you can see the awesomeness that is Ichigo from one of my favorite series, Bleach. And I am really loving A Thousand Year Blood Wars. I hope you are too. This is one of the most expensive ones I bought so far. It came from HMV at £28. Well, just shy. I've not seen this one anywhere else yet. So I had the spare cash from Christmas. So I thought, yes, let's get this picked up. And let's add it to the collection. But now we will, I'll open up the box, get them assembled, and show you Ichigo. And there we go, there is Ichigo all put together. Did have slight difficulty with his head on the inside, there was a little bit of like residue from the mold itself. So I just had to kind of like cut that out with a little scalpel blade and all that, and that went on there nicely. So of course, you do have a little bit of a tilt there. And when I noticed when I was doing that, his sword also moves. He kind of twists his sword. The hand's kind of solid and wrapped around it. But it's still nice you can kind of still twist the sword a little bit if you want to pose it slightly different with his head and all that. That's quite nice. But taking a closer look up at Ichigo, again, I say this all the time, but Q poskets do definitely favor the eyes and they do the eyes so well. You can see the real stern look in Ichigo's face. And you see that it is from the Thousand Year Blood Wars with the difference in his neck here, the little marks on his hand. And of course, the sword himself, which is different from the original series. Even right down to, if you look under his arm here, you can see that they still added the detail into there. And on his legs, they still added the extra detail into there. So they are really looking at adding all these extra little features and details that really make the figure itself stand out. Now, personally, I do really like this. Now, we really like Bleach. But this one here from Volume 2 in his Bankai form, I do think is actually better. I do like this pose. I like really a sword in this and the way it's all kind of set up. But what do you think? Which one do you prefer? Do you prefer Volume 1 or Volume 2 of Kurosaki Ichigo from Bleach? Let me know down in the comments below. And while you're down there, go on, hit the like button, smash that subscribe button, and click the little notification bell for more videos of Q Posket. So you know there's going to be more. I'm getting obsessed. Double figures now. Ain't no stopping me now. <laughs> My name's been Daniel. This has been Twisted Geek. Hope you have an awesome week. Cheers.